Hello. Today I wanted to take the time to um, show you how to actually use Go Icon Themes with Desktop Visualizer. So I left a couple of icons at the bottom there on my status bar, on my dock, I'm sorry, that my phone and SMS application. And I'm going to go through the steps of actually changing those two icons for you. Now this is actually an APK theme. It's not a theme that's been installed through the apps, the Play Store. It's actually a premium or you can use free, you know, app theme that you would actually buy from a standalone themer. Usually they have blogs and I also have a list of um, Android themers on my blog. So let's go. Um, let's see. And the good thing too about desktop visualizer is you can actually change the name. You see I have a desktop that's actually desktop visualizer. Select icon. Select image file. Which will take you to my gallery. Which takes a while to load because I have so many folders full of icons. And right now I'm using a pretty HK Hello Kitty which pretty HK icons. And that icon we're looking for is the phone icon and I'm going to use the phone. Then it'll say launch application and I'll just scroll through my apps till I actually get to phone select it, select OK touch whiz and there it is phone. Now I just take this and get rid of it and move the phone icon down to the dock. Now for the SMS I'm going to go back to desktop visualizer select icon image file scroll back down through to my pretty HK icon folder and I can pick any icons I want that's a nice one but I think I like this better and you see it says Go SMO, or that's the name. Guess Go SMS Pro for that's for Go SMS, but I'm going to use it for my messaging app because that's what I'm using for texting and the regular, the default messaging app. And then I'm going to actually change the name from messaging. Just get rid of it. Hit caps lock. SMS. Okay. Touch whiz. And there it is. SMS. Oh, remove it and replace. If I tap, voila. Just that easy. Just that simple. Now I do plan to do another video showing how you can um, install things that have been installed through the Play Store. That's a little tricky because a lot of the newer Go themes will not work with desktop visualizer. I noticed that mainly the older things work, but I will go through those steps and show you how to do that. All right, thank you very much for checking out my icon, my video. I actually have a tutorial for this on my blog, and I'm going to um post the link for this video on my tutorial page because I have a how to helpful Android tutorial page, and I'm going to add this video to it. And once again, basically this is a video that will show you how to use Go icons with the stock Touch Witch, Touch Wiz Launcher. Boy, I'm all tie tongue to tongue tied today. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. If you if you like this video, please like and you can subscribe. And if you want to comment, please leave a comment on my website. Thank you and have a good day.